Mr. Schusterman, what is adjustment of status? Adjustment of status is when you get your green card in the United States. It's legal jargon. If you were getting your green card in a foreign country, we would call it getting an immigrant visa. Mm -hmm. What are the eligibility requirements for adjustment of status? Well, you have to enter the United States legally. Mm -hmm. You can't sneak over the border and adjust your status. You have to have legal status at the time that you apply, some kind of temporary status, a visitor, student, working visa. Uh, you can't have any illegal employment in the U.S., even if the illegal employment occurred years ago. Uh, that, that's not suitable. And finally, you have to be admissible to the United States. So if you've committed fraud or you have a criminal offense or something like that, you, you might not be eligible. If I'm married to a U.S. citizen and if I work illegally, Am I still eligible to get the adjustment of status? Well, that, you know, that's a really good point because the, the requirements for adjustment of status are actually easier if you're an immediate relative, which would mean a spouse, a parent, or a child of a U.S. citizen than they are for anybody else. In that case, you still have to enter legally, but the fact that you overstayed your visa or you worked without authorization won't keep you from adjusting status. You do have to be admissible, though, so again, if you have fraud or a crime or something like that, the fact that you're married to a citizen may get you a waiver, but it's not going to relieve the government from inquiring. How about getting the adjustment of status for my employment? Well, there, there, there's another exception. We call that Section 245K of the law, and Section 245K says, as long as you don't have over 180 days of either unauthorized employment or you were out of status for over 180 days since your last admission to the United States. So let's say that you had uh, un unlawful employment in the United States and then you got an H-1B visa and you left the country and you came back again. It's only since your last admission that you don't have that you can't have over 180 days. So where you would have not have been eligible for an adjustment of status before, once you leave and come back again, now you're eligible for adjustment of status. But you must be admitted. If you come back on a parole, that doesn't work. Can I continue to work while my adjustment of status is pending? Yeah, in fact, um, although we recommend that if you're on a working visa that you stay on the working visa because the Immigration Service has a rather restrictive interpretation of Section 245K. For instance, if you were, let's say, a registered nurse, and registered nurses, there's no temporary visa categories for registered nurses, and maybe it takes the Immigration Service a year to decide your application for adjustment of status, if they deny it, for whatever reason, they deny it, and then you try to reapply, they'll say, well, wait a second, you were out of legal status for over 180 days, because we took a year to decide your application, right? And you say, well, no, I wasn't out of legal status, because I had a work card and a travel card, and they'll say, no, but that was a period of time authorized by the Attorney General. It wasn't status. They interpret status, and I, I think they're wrong about this, but until somebody goes to court and challenges this, uh, we'll have to follow those rules. They say status is the same as non-immigrant or temporary status, like an H or an L or something like that. So that's why I always urge, if you're in H-1B status, even though you can get a work card by applying for adjustment of status, don't use that work card. Stay on H-1B status. Um, but I guess the short answer to your question is that, yes, after 90 days, you can get a work card. So if, you, if you're not otherwise eligible to work, you can start working. And you can get a travel card as long as you're eligible to travel in and out of the United States. And you should consult your lawyer about this. And you can travel you know, around the world while they're deciding your adjustment of status application. So will I be interviewed for my green card? Well, you know, it depends. I mean, if you get it through your wife or any family member, there's almost always an interview. I haven't, I don't think I've had a case where there wasn't an interview. On the other hand, if you get it through employment, there's almost never an interview unless they see some issue that they want to interview you about. Like, let's say, uh, 
again, a fraud or a criminal activity. Where can I get more information online about adjustment of status? Well, uh, on our page, um, which is Schusterman.com, we have an adjustment of status page. Uh, it's called AO AOS.html, and we link to the Immigration Service, the State Department, and we have original articles that we've written, and I think that will help you a lot. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you.